wrong, Rooster? Rooster is going with me for morning chores at the barn. And this is his first time riding. Well, other than the time we went and picked them up and they were puppies, so he's not feeling it right now. It'll, it'll take some time for him to warm. It took up a little. It took a little bit with Athena. Athena used to actually get anxiety attacks, and now she'll just hop up in the vehicle because she she knows nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'll warm up. I'm just gonna have to sit here pet him, tell him everything's okay. Hey, don't worry, everything okay. <laughs> Rooster, come on, warm up some, warm up. Well, we're walking in the field, warming up a little bit after doing chores at the barn. It was funny, his first time watching, a, or I opened up the stall to the horses to grab the water bucket, and he like looked, he was like, dang, that's a big dog, and he growled, and of course he did it, this is when it was my mare, and she looked at him and kind of scoffed, and she was like, I dare you, buddy. And then he like backed off immediately, so that was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, warming up real quick. But yeah, he's doing good. He's, he's, look. He's having some fun. You ready to go home, Rooster? <laughs> Come on. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Well, for a pup, that ain't bad. Rooster. What? <laughs> Rooster. You look like you snuck out of the house last night and drank too much. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. Having to play freeze out. That way Rooster can get some cold air on his face so he doesn't get car sick as much. <laughs> Rooster, it's way too cold outside to be playing freeze out. Look at that face. Look at that face. That's the face of I'm about to puke all over your dashboard. Well, playing freeze out with Rooster on the way back home, that was real fun when it's 28 degrees now outside. Uh, out of nine times that he got car sick, one of the times I wasn't able to... Uh, prevent it so i have to clean that up but hey guys on a positive note after three weeks got the chickens out and so far so good uh jose seems to they the the hens seem to be gathered more close closely to uh jose than normal so i don't know where they're at right now but i'm sure they're they're somewhere close by all right guys get back happy happy hogs happy hogs but now the real question with the chickens is when it comes to sundown will they roost in the coop that was my top priority is getting them to roost in the coop that's why i locked them up for three weeks so i really didn't want the coop to go to waste rooster and colt uh took out all of my original flock all except for one or two so jose seems to be a little bit more protective of the hens and the hens seem to be listening more than before so that's a good thing see how this goes you gonna behave yes sir yes sir yes sir all right i love you i love you bye love you bye okay, let's... all right kids are dropped off and we have two shoots to go do today one is nearby and the other one is across town Actually, it's still kind of nearby. Really not that far away. It just seems far away. But now is a true test of how protective Jose is and how obedient Rooster and Colt are going to be. Colt's on the chain, but they still seem to get off for some reason. And Rooster is off the chain. And, but... When I was inside the house and we were getting ready, they seemed to to somewhat remember don't touch the chickens. And Rooster just so happened to walk near one of the hens and Jose kind of let him know um, 
don't come near the, the hen. So I guess we'll find out, especially since we're gonna be headed back to the house before or after dark. And that's another thing. Will they roost? Will we have any dead birds and will they really roost in the coop? I hope we don't have any dead birds, but uh, it's, it's a process. So we are at our first shoot at a place called Cedars of Lebanon here in Tennessee. Got some pretty setups. Actually, let's look over here since we already know what's on this side. Let's look over here. And it must be the hot spot today because there are like, we've seen already four or five different photographers. Six including ourselves. Well, that, that would be seven, right? Because we're both, okay, whatever. Ah. It just sucks. We had that, that cold snap come in this morning and some wind from yesterday and it knocked out all of the orange and reds that was here. But we do have some cute areas we can work with. Actually, this is some really nice area. Look at this, babe. The little shed thing over there. There's some, still got some fall looks to it. This actually looks great. Got a cliff, a dry creek, a bridge. There goes another little shed thing up there. I know y'all can barely see it. But uh, like and we still got some Whoa. fall colors here. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I almost like, said no. Oh. I wasn't gonna hit you. Uh, well, let's get to work. So we are done with the first one. With the first one. With the first one, they had cute little puppies. They got a little cute little puppies. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they're still puppies. They were babies. It surprised me that all okay, all three of these dogs look totally different, and they're from the same litter. That 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 amazed me, but uh. Yeah, how to break out the wild rag and how to get the wife some hot hands. It got a little nippy out here. Just a little bit. So, where to now? Um, Sinking Creek Farm. Sinking Creek, what time is it? 2.15. Uh, we have That's to be there. there at 3. Okay. All right. Stop at the store, get something to drink, and then off to the next shoot. Seeking Creek Farms. And... Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I guess that's where we are at. We're doing now a. Our first one was just portrait shots. And this one's more. What do they call it? Stage prop shots. <laughs> prop shots. Like a mini session. Mini session. So we are going to be walking around looking at some of the props that we have available to do Christmas shots, which will work perfectly considering the fact that it's 37 degrees out here. Too bad it wasn't snowing. No. <laughs> no. Oh man. All right. Yet again, let's get to work. So we're looking around, and I've been here a couple times already for like weddings and small portrait stuff, but I didn't know. I don't know if this has been. It looks like it's been here for a minute. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. Look at this. I don't know what year. It's got to be in between 1954 and 1959. But on Oliver Diesel, I'm guessing it's a 990. I don't know. I think that back then they called it a Super 99. Just sitting here, lost in time. Man, I've been sitting here for the past 15, 20 minutes uh, just getting shots of this thing. I was trying to see if there was like a date code on the engine, but there's not. I mean, I'm sure there is. I just don't know how to read it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I really hate seeing, seeing things just set down and just forgotten. But can you imagine the work this thing went through? I mean, 1950. Some of our millennials out there right now think that was like 100 years ago. <laughs> Man, beautiful though. But I like how it's got the, the rust red and green there. And they're actually kind of smart. They put a, a little reef here. So we may we may get a shot right here with, uh, I think we're taking a shot of two boys for Christmas photos. So it's definitely in my, my idea pile. What I like doing is uh, taking the shots of where I have an idea, then already getting the lighting ready for it. That way I get an idea of what I need to do when I get to that area, so that when the clients show up, we run through and we get the shots instead of sitting there going, um, um, no. But uh, this, this is definitely one on my list. And then we got some, 
up here some actual Christmas props put up and everything. That that stuff's easy. It's just making sure you got your lighting right then and there. Luckily, I think these gentlemen are 9, 10, maybe 10 and 11 years old. So they're definitely going to be easy to work with. But beautiful day all in all. A little chilly, but beautiful day. I didn't even realize how, look at that. That's pretty. Definitely a good day. Still worried about my birds though, but definitely a good day. <laughs> Wrapped up the last session and the wife told me that this place has a cigar, cigar what? Cigar bar. Cigar bar that the, uh, venue. the owner put in. Yeah. So we we're gonna go see if we could get some fancy shots of the cigar bar. They could have just put a regular bar in here. Chelsea and I spent a little bit of, oh, oh accident. accident. Uh, little extra time over there. Uh, for some reason we got, to, today wasn't as hectic as it normally is when we have two sessions back to back, but I guess that's one of those good days you can have. Um, but yeah, we stayed over <laughs> the rest of the time that we had paid the vendor and we got a couple shots of each other. Okay, let's see what's in the roost. Five birds. Let me guess. What in the hell? You've got to be kidding me. So apparently locking up the layers for three weeks did not work. And I'm honestly surprised. So, I'm just going to train the pups to protect the layers and pray that the layers aren't attacked in the roosting tree by predators. Which we do have predators around here that can climb a tree and can just knock them right out of the tree very easily.